Jamaica is known for the beautiful beaches and all-inclusive resorts of Negril, Montego Bay and Ocho Rios. But travel north of the Blue Mountains on the eastern end of the island and you come to Port Antonio, once the cradle of Jamaica's tourist trade and rapidly regaining its popularity. You might say it was discovered by pirates, for it was here that we met up with Patrice Wymore Flynn, the widow of one of the most well-known pirates of them all, the swashbuckling idol of the movies, Errol Flynn, and Flynn loved Port Antonio. He was a very lonely man, a uh, very intelligent man, very sensitive, a wonderful, sweet, warm human being, much to my surprise, much to the contrary to the public image as being the sort of rowdy roust about her. We toured on board our yacht, and we would stop in ports where you wouldn't think they'd ever heard the word motion picture, let alone Errol Flynn, and we'd just literally be torn apart physically. We couldn't move except in Jamaica. And I think that is one of the reasons Jamaica had the great attraction for him. It was a bit of a culture shock. Uh, in those days, our airport was a Quonset hut. I had arrived from Los Angeles, all dressed in a smart new Dior wool suit with hat and gloves and a fur. And when the plane door opened and the heat came off the tarmac, I dissolved. Errol wasn't there to meet me. He'd sent someone, and they had gone astray. I don't know whatever happened to them. So I got into the first limousine I saw and said, uh, Port Antonio, please, not having a clue what the geography was. Well, in those days, Port Antonio was about three and a half, four hours away on a very narrow dirt road, and I thought I'd been abducted <laughs> and would never be heard from again. I finally arrived, rather wilted, and uh, Errol had, was on board the yacht, uh, had arranged a lovely luncheon reception for me. So all was forgiven. I got into some comfortable clothes and adapted immediately. Well, the island was really our garden, which is rather splendid. We lived on board our yacht, and uh, the island was planted with all kinds of gardens and gazebos. It wasn't commercialized at all. Then, but my husband sold it before he died. And Errol Flynn was primarily responsible for what has become one of Port Antonio's major tourist attractions, river rafting on the Rio Grande. It used to be that the local residents would use the course of the river to transport their bananas downstream to the harbor. But Flynn saw it as an opportunity to entertain his friends. The quietness, the simplicity, the vegetation. People sometimes say we got so much rain in Port Antonio, but the reason we have such beautiful vegetation is because we do get a lot of rain. It, uh, the rain does not really interrupt our tourist industry. And it's very, very confusing for me. I never know whether I'm praying for rain for the farm or sun for the tourists. So I just hope whoever is listening up there <laughs> understands my confusion. I'm extremely grateful for the very diversified life that I've been able to, to lead. Uh, I see people getting blocked in to situations or squares that they, they long to be able to reach out, but they don't reach far enough. And uh, of course, being a Jamaican now, I wish more people would come to see us. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.